What's up guys? This is Richard again for this edition of Learning with Rich. It's been a long time since I created my last video. So in this exercise that I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you how to create a U-shape and uh, monolithic stairs. Okay, so in this exercise, I'm going to create a U-shape stairs in a structural model and monolithic stairs at the exterior of the building. So as you can see on my 3D view, all right, so this is where I'm going to place my stair, okay, my U-shaped stair, and then I'm going to create here my monolithic stair, all right, so let's get started. So going back to my first floor stair plan, so I'm going to create my U-shaped stair here. So I'm going to go ahead and go select the architecture tab and I select here the stair by sketch. This is a very quick exercise. So hopefully you'll learn something from this. So stair by sketch. Okay, and then uh, after that, so I'm going to select this stair, this type of stair. And I'm going to start from here. Okay, so I pick here. Okay, until I created 12 risers. So as you can see, there's the 12 risers created, 12 remaining. So I'm going to pick here. Okay, and then I'm going to pick on the opposite side here. I'm going to pick and I'm going to use up all the risers. So the total risers created are 24 risers. All right, so I'm going to pick here to end up. There you go. And then after that, I'm going to select the check here to finish my stair. There you go. Okay, so modify. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the stair here. And then I'm going to use the new feature in 2016. There's a selection box. So I'm going to select this. All right, there you go. So there's the stair that I just created. Okay, let me just adjust the section box. Okay. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this. You see this frame here? I'm going to move this to the somewhere here to this side because it's actually overlapping this stair. Okay, so going back to my uh, plan view. So maybe I'll open my for second, second floor. Okay, and then I'm, I'm going to zoom in here. Okay, I'm going to select this uh, beam, that frame, and then I'm going to move that to the right side. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and click this, and then I change the distance to 750. There you go. Alright. So if I click again the stair, and then select the selection box, there you go. So it's now moved to the left side. So it's not overlapping the stair anymore. All right. So going back to my second floor. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add another beam here. So from the structure, I select here the beam. And then I'm going to select uh, 310 by 38.7 wide flange. I'm going to go ahead and select this. And then I'm going to pick this. One, I'm going to pick this, two, there you go. And then I select modify. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to change here the detail level because it's showing my beam or my framing as a single line. Okay, so I'm going to change the detail level to fine. There you go. All right. And then after that, I go ahead and select the beam and then change some... Um, uh, properties here of that beam so i'm gonna change let's say the uh, z offset value i'm gonna change this to uh, minus one two five okay so apply there you go so again i'm gonna select the stair here i select the selection box okay so i'll just adjust first the section box here Okay, so there's now the the beam that I just created. Alright, so I'm going to select this. So you will notice 
after I select this one, I'm going to show you what's the effect of the Z offset value. So before it's zero, so it's like this, right? So it's overlapping my uh, floor here. That's why I have changed that to uh, minus 125. There you go. And then going back to the second floor, I'm going to move or I'm going to align this, modify, align, okay, I'm going to align it here, this one, okay, there we go. So again, I select the stair, I select the selection box, so I can see how it looks like, there you go. Okay, so this is the beam or the frame that I just created. Now what I'm going to do next is, after I created this uh, U-shaped stair, so I'm going to create now my monolithic concrete stairs. So I'm going to zoom out. Let me just open the first floor concrete stair. Okay, so this is the view. So from the architecture, I'm going to select here again the stair by sketch. Okay, and then this time from the type here, I'm going I'm going to select the mon monolithic stair. Okay, and then for the top level, I also want my top level to be at the first floor. But the base offset, oh, let me just cancel this first. The base offset, I'm gonna change this first to minus 800, and then that's the time I change this to first floor. Okay. Top offset, okay, so it's zero. Uh, width, so I'm going to change the width also, 1,800. Okay, and then I'm going to sketch now my stair. So I'm going to pick here, and then I'm going to pick here. Desired number of risers are five. Okay, I'm um, six, five, six. Okay, so, uh huh, finish edit mode. There you go. So in 3D view, it looks like this. Let me just turn off the section box. There you go. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Third number of risers, five. All right. So that's how you create your uh, U-shaped stair and your monolithic concrete stair so just like what i've said this exercise is a very short one and hopefully you learned something from this video so if you have any comments questions or suggestions you can put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can you can also download the exercise file i have put the link on the description below of this video so once again, this is Rich from Learning with Rich. You all stay beautiful and handsome. Bye.